So now we're going to move on to the Gold Pack Category Awards. Uh, we will present these awards for the 2024 Gold Pack uh, winners. Uh, please help us, let's try and finish before midnight tonight, uh, to come up on stage and collect your medal. But as you'll see, there's still a lot of time. So when you come up here, enjoy the moment in the spotlight. Don't rush off too quickly. What we want to do is get you onto the stage quickly. But don't feel that you must leave here too uh, quickly uh, because we have Yaman over there, who's our official photographer. And he's, you see he's pretty young. So he's still learning. So sometimes he misses the button. He doesn't get the picture right the first time. So give him some time up here and pose and enjoy and you know, do your best pose. So enjoy your moment in the spotlight. All I'm trying to do is to get you up on stage uh, as quickly as you can. And we're very happy for more than one person to come up. Uh, if, uh, the converters, the brand owners, anybody involved with the project, there's a big stage here. We got this big stage on purpose so that as many of you as are involved in the project would like to come up, particularly your clients. It's quite important, I guess. Get your clients up. So thank you, Yaman. Uh, he will be taking photographs afterwards as well. But now, just a serious moment to consider what it takes to win an Ipsa Gold Pack medal. The Gold Pack competition is much more than a printing competition. In fact, you'll see some entries tonight that have no print on them at all. This is not a, just a printing competition, although it can be an important part of the entry. The judges look for excellent application and execution of any new, innovative, and creative design, marketing, and technology applied to packaging in South Africa and the region. It's understood that the concept of technology may not be absolutely new and original, but it's now been used in a manner that makes it exceptional or stand out. The judges look for packaging that demonstrates the ingenuity and competitiveness of our packaging industry. Scrutiny is applied equally to the disciplines of design, marketing, and technology, both individually and as a combination. This year's judges offered a, a wide range of knowledge of disciplines in as many years of experience in the packaging and related industries to consider all the criteria needed to be a winner. They begged me not to tell you. But the judging panel included Gunnar Sig, that you saw here this evening, Wendy Nola, Anna B. Pretorius, Vanessa van Holt, Jane Maloney, Janus Luterik, and a newcomer to the panel, Bill Furness. But that's not all. We also did some online, online judging undertaken by Kishan Singh, Shabir Jetam, and Charles Muller. So we got a lot of expertise and interest shown in these entries. On to the awards presentations. When you recognize your name, I'll say the company's name, and the entry, please come onto the stage to be presented with your medal, and then take some time to pose with your award for our photographer and his lovely assistant. I don't see Tarana here. Is she, is she out helping you? <laughs> we, we get her to come forward. <laughs> right, so we should enjoy it. And then, of course, what's happening? Uh, there's a reason at the beginning of each category why we showcase a montage of each category. It's to warn you that your pack is about to win a medal. So prepare yourself. Agree who's coming up to accept the medal. Why not everyone involved? And wait in anticipation. Clap politely for the others who win. And cheer loudly for your own teams. Show you care as much as T3 plastic packaging does. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't encourage them. I shouldn't encourage them. Right, OK, so we're going to start with our first category. And as I say, it's a montage of all the finalists in the category in no particular order, the first category being non-perishable food. Right, so our first medalist, our first finalist medal, is awarded to Constantia Flexibles for their entry, Zuzus. Enjoy faster lead times, this job was moved from gravure to flexography. The challenge was to match the gravure printed elements from the established ISU biscuits graphics 
on the new affordable 125 gram size flexographically. From print inception through to delivery to the client, it was all achieved in four weeks. Sales since launch have exceeded all expectations. Thank you. And our second finalist medal is awarded to the Golden Era Group for Baker's Snack Time Assorted Crackers. change from e-flute to 500 GSM board and the inclusion of locking tabs enabled the removal of the plastic overwrap from the pack, making it more sustainable and cost effective without any compromise on the pack's aesthetic appeal or functionality. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Well done, guys. And the third finest medal of the evening is awarded to Siaka for their Whispers 200 grams. Demand for short run lengths motivated a move from gravure to flexoprint. Additional changes and enhancement to the printing and converting processes, such as the use of one high opacity white ink pass instead of a double white, the restructure of the substrates, adhesives and curing and corona treatments yielded a cost effective and gravure quality result. The next finalist medal of the evening is awarded to PepsiCo SA for Safari. As a heritage brand dating back to 1908, the unique challenge was to maintain relevance for the contemporary market, to refresh its identity and resonate with modern sensibilities while honoring a rich legacy. The recent rebrand of Safari has met this challenge with a design that is modern and minimalistic, emphasizing clean lines and bold simplicity that reflect the purity and essence of the outdoors. Well done, ladies. And the next finalist medal is awarded to the Golden Era Group for Alula Gold Growing Up Formula. A striking use of metal packaging to enhance shelf standout and the image of a quality product. Bold graphics and metallic finishes elevate the product to the status of a premium option. The gold can highlights the brand image to be seen as the gold standard in the infant milk formula category. Well done. And our next finalist is Impact Plastics Wadeville for their glass to PET.
The change from glass to PET reduces the average packing mass by 86% across the jar range, allowing for optimized packaging and transport configurations, increasing the number of products per pallet. The closure is a patented multi-seal design which eliminates a liner or wad compared to the previous metal lid with a gasket. The new PET jar range also allows common use of the single piece closure across all jar sizes, reducing the number of changes required on the filling line. Yeah, well done. Right, the next finalist medal is awarded to two entries, actually, uh, but both from Siaka for tennis doubles and Baker's Choco Break. The advantages of flexor printing are cost-effective shorter runs and shorter lead times. The challenge is to overcome the curing of UV inks printed on BOPP metallized material. This was resolved by using a specialized water-based primer to allow for the UV inks to cure on the substrate without dulling the metallized effect. The metallized gold ink could then be replaced by knocking out the opaque white in areas to give the desired metallic effect. In addition, the whiteness of the backgrounds was achieved in a single pass by using a specially developed high opacity white UV ink. Cool. Thank you, well done, guys. Right, now the first of two bronze medals to be awarded in the non-perishable food category, the first bronze medal goes to the Golden Era Group for Baker's Dip and Delight Assorted Rusks. Adding value to the humble rusk, the dynamic and appetizing visual of the pack has been executed with precision. The overall brand architecture is presented in perfect harmony with the product's unique appeal. What are you doing here again? <laughs> might move over a little bit. Well done. So the second bronze medal in this category is awarded to Art Flexible Packaging for their Woolworths Tangy Tops. The challenge taken on here was to create a pack with a matte look and feel with a clear window for product visibility and appetite appeal. This was achieved with reverse printing on BOPP, applying the spot matte varnish on the top surface in perfect register and then laminating to BOPP to sandwich and protect the print with the tactile matte varnish still exposed on the surface. Did that come out, Yaman? It looks like you didn't put film in the camera. Oh. Right, the first silver medal of the evening, the first of two in this category of non-perishable food, is awarded to Classic Injection Moldings and Montego Pet Nutrition for their Montego Bag of Wags tub and lids. An appealing introduction into the pet care market. The innovative design ensures convenience for pet owners with a sustainable and superior pet treat format. This has resulted in sales volume increases exceeding 
The range features sleek, modern designs that not only catch the eye, but also enhance functionality and brand recognition. The ergonomic shape ensures easy handling and storage, and the resealable clear lid keeps treats fresher for longer. Well done. And now the second silver medal in the perishable, non-perishable food category is awarded to Shaven Gibson Packaging for Woolworths Noodle Pail. This noodle pail utilizes a water-based coated paperboard that is microwave safe and leak proof, offering an eco-friendly alternative to polyboard. It boasts a one to three month degradability and is designed to maintain the integrity of the contents while providing a convenient, sustainable packaging solution. Hey, I mean, I think you need a flashing light because they're all saying, where's the photographer? <laughs> right, our first gold medal of the evening in the non-perishable food category is awarded to Constantia Flexibles for Imana Soups and Sauces and Gravy Ray. The range showcases an important development in the shift to monolayer substrates. The new Imana range has rationalized sizes over 61 variants, now utilizes locally sourced substrates, reduced from 8 to 3 layers, rationalized the production process and reduced the material by 30%. The aesthetically improved mat pack has a two-year shelf life and no loss of functionality whilst reducing landfill impact. Music 